square root of 32 plus square root of 24 upon square root of 32 minus square root of 24 under square root. We have to simplify it. So let's first simplify the radicals. Square root of 32 we can write it as 16 times 2 under square root plus square root of 24 as 6 times 4 under square root then upon same square root of 32 as 16 times 2 under square root minus 6 times 4 under square root then all under square root now when a times b is under square root it is equal to square root of a times square root of b so this we can write square root of 16 times square root of 2 plus square root of 6 times square root of 4 upon square root of 16 times square root of 2 minus square root of 6 times square root of 4 under square root square root of 16 is 4 so 4 times square root of 2 plus square root of 4 is 2 so 2 times square root of 6 upon 4 times square root of 2 minus 2 times square root of 6 under square root now we have to rationalize the denominator because in the denominator we have radicals to rationalize the denominator we multiply and divide by the conjugate of the denominator so conjugate of x plus y is x minus y conjugate of 4 square times square root of 2 minus 2 times square root of 6 will be 4 times square root of 2 plus 2 times square root of 6 so we multiply and divide by the conjugate dividing by same number means multiplying it multiplying and dividing by the same number for example if you multiply and divide by a upon a then a and a gets cancelled it is equal to 1 so it's just like multiplying by 1 we are not changing anything so multiply by 4 times square root of 2 minus 2 times square root of 6 upon 4 times square root of 2 sorry plus the conjugate plus 2 times square root of 6 now if 4 times square root of 2 is a and 2 times square root of 6 is b then it is a plus b times a plus b so a plus b whole square so we can write it as 4 times square root of 2 plus 2 times square root of 6 whole square upon again it is a minus b times a plus b differences of square so we can write it as a square minus b square so we can write 4 times square root of 2 whole square minus 2 times square root of 6 whole square under square root now a plus b whole square equals to a square plus b square plus 2ab upon here it will be 4 square times square root gets removed with this square so it is 4 square times 2 minus 2 square times 6 here also it will be 4 square and the square root gets removed with this square so it is 16 times 2 32 plus 24 plus 16 times square root of 12 upon 32 minus 24 under square root 32 plus 24 equals to 56 plus 16 times square root of 12 upon 32 minus 24 equals to 8 under square root now 56 now here we can take 8 common and write 8 parenthesis 7 plus 2 times square root of 12 upon 8 under square root now this 8 and 8 gets cancelled now we have 7 plus 2 times square root of 12 under square root to further simplify it we need to remove this square root if we write this number in terms of a plus minus b whole square then this whole square can remove the square root now 7 we can write it as 4 plus 3 then plus 2 12 we can write it as square root of 4 times square root of 3 under square root now when a is under square root it means a is raised to the power of 1 upon 2 when we square it the exponent is also multiplied by 2 then it gets cancelled so 4 we can write it as square root of 4 square and it is equal to 4 plus 3 as square root of 3 square plus 2 
times square root of 4 times square root of 3 under square root. Now, if you consider square root of 4 as a and square root of 3 as b, then it is in the form of a square plus b square plus 2ab. Algebraic expression you can write it as a plus b whole square. So, we can write it as square root of 4 plus square root of 3 whole square under square root. Now, remove the square root with this square. So, we have square root of 4 plus square root of 3. Square root of 4 is 2 plus square root of 3 value is square root of 3 value is 1.732. So, 2 plus 1.732 or 3 decimal 732. This is our solution. How did you solve it? Let me know in the comment section. Thanks for watching.